Most people in America presume that we have rights to our own bodies, but there seems to be a group of men and women or children who feel that they have rights to a homeless man. They also feel that they have the rights to infiltrate a man's right to grow his beard for his faith. And openly they feel that they have the right to disrobe someone and harm them in the night. There is a bitch panhandler that never stops her play. She is always there, never leaving, and with her family she fucks our streets. But if I say that out loud, am I a bad person? Maybe, maybe not. But what I know is that the players always have some sort of pothead mentality. That I'm in charge of my seat. I'm in charge of this place. I'm in charge, goddammit. I am life and I am large. That's not true. It's absolutely not true. But what I say to the player that keeps shaving me when I'm sleeping is you're a cowardless little shit who doesn't know me at all. And openly you're violating every fucking law there is. So that makes me think that you're law enforcement. But here's what I say to you, little bitch. If you can't stand in front of me and explain to me what the fuck you think you're doing to me, you're nothing at all. And in God's house, I promise you, the satanic force will reap your soul in such a way that you will never get out of hell. And you don't even believe in hell. Good luck with that. Can you imagine not believing in hell and you get delivered before Gabriel and said, Bye-bye, see you later, and up comes the reapers to pull your little ass back to hell. I want you to think about that film. Can you remember the name of it? The name of that film. Do you remember who was in it? Patrick Swayze? Demi Moore? What was it called? Ghost? And what we saw in that film was a great visual of what the Reapers can do to the illness of men who think they're above people, who think they're better than others, who think they have rights to people, who think they have the rights to rape and disgrace other people.